factorization factorization of cyclic expression so here we are going to factorize the cyclic expression by using remainder theorem so here the remainder theorem states that if f of x is a given expression or a given algebraic expression then x minus a is said to be a factor of that particular algebraic expression that is f, f of x unless and until f of a that is the remainder is equals to 0. So, here f of a must be equals to 0 then x minus a will be the factor of f of x. So, that is the remainder theorem. So, first of all let us go through the remainder theorem. So, in this remainder theorem we are going to utilize this remainder theorem for the factorization of the cyclic expressions. If f of x is an algebraic expression in variable say x, so in which x is the variable, then x minus a is a factor. So, here this x minus a will be the factor of that given expression or the given algebraic expression that is f of x. If and only if f of a that is the remainder is equals to 0. So, here this gives us the statement of the remainder theorem. So, here let us go through it once again that we are supposing the algebraic expression as f of x that is in the variable is of x. Then now here x minus a will be the factor of that particular algebraic expression that is f of x if and only if f of a must be equals to 0. Then so, particularly this will be known as, so here this is known as the remainder theorem. So, here this is the remainder theorem statement, then now Let us go through one example by utilizing this remainder theorem in the factorization of the cyclic expression. So, here factorize sigma of a square minus b square multiplied with a b or in other words sigma a b into a square minus b square whereas, the variables are of a comma b comma c using remainder theorem. So, here when f of x is of the given algebraic expression then x minus a 
is a factor if and only if f of a equals to 0 that is the remainder must be equals to 0 is the statement of the remainder theorem we have to utilize that remainder theorem in order to factorize the cyclic expression that is sigma of a b into a square minus b square with the other variables as a comma b comma c then now the solution starts now. As per the problem, the given algebraic expression or in other words the cyclic expression is of sigma a b into a square minus b square in which the variables are of a comma b comma c is the given cyclic expression then now so in its elaboration it is of fourth degree so the remaining elements are of so here a b when we remove the notation that is sigma the remaining elements will be of so a b into a square minus b square is the first term plus since sigma gives us the notation or the meaning of sum of the remaining terms sum of the I mean additional terms. So, here the remaining terms are of they are of three variables the remaining are of so here a b into a square minus b square then now b c now. So, here b c into b square minus c square then now c and a. So, here plus c a into c square minus a square when we multiply the first two terms. So, that is a b with a square. So, we will be getting so a into a square as a cube a cube into b. So, here a b into a square is the first term then that is equals to a into a square as a cube into b. So, here its exponent is of 1 that is equals to. So, here the degree is of 4 3 plus 1 is of 4 therefore, the degree of this expression is of fourth degree. So, here degree of this expression is of 4. So, in this manner we have identified the degree of this particular I mean expression as 4. It is a fourth degree expression, fourth degree cyclic expression. Then now here we are going to suppose. So, let the given expression or the given cyclic expression as f of a. Let f of a is equals to sigma the given. So, a sigma a b into a square minus b square with a comma b comma c then now that implies. So, here f of a is equals to sigma a b into a square minus b square. So, here sigma a b into a square minus b square in its elaboration is this. So, that is a b into a square minus b square plus b c into b square minus c square plus c a into c square minus a square which we wrote as the previous logical step. Then now instead a so I am going to substitute it as b. So, here f of a equals to f of b. So, here instead of f of a I am going to sub substitute it as f of b. So, here so here a is replaced by means of x that is a must be replaced by means of x that is a equals to b then now factor will be off. So, here plus b is of positive then now positive b when it is transposed over to the left hand side then it becomes. So, here minus b then now a minus b will be the factor. So, this will be the factor when a is replaced by means of b in case if a is replaced by means of negative b then if we transpose negative b over to the left hand side we would have got I say a plus b there. So, here a is replaced by means of b that is a equal to b. So, a equal to b, b is of positive when it is transposed to the left hand side becomes minus b. Therefore, a minus b will be the factor if f of b is substituted in this then if f of b is equals to 0 then the remainder is 0. When the remainder is 0 then automatically this will be the factor. So, now that equals to a must be replaced by means of b. So, here a by means of b into b as it is only a must be replaced by means of b's. So, here a by means of b, but it is of square minus b square as it is plus b c as it is into b square minus c square also must be copied as it is plus c into a must be replaced by means of b 
then now into c square minus a square that is a must be replaced by means of b so we can write it as b square that implies b into b is of b square into b square minus b square b square is of negative and here this b square is of positive plus b square minus b square gets cancelled so it is of zero so now plus let us multiply bc with b square and bc with c square then now here bc with c square and bc with b square b into b square as b cube c then now plus into minus is minus b c into c square so here b c into c is c cube then now plus c b into c square c square into c is of c cube b plus of minus is minus c b into b square so here c b into b square is of b cube so that implies plus b cube c minus b cube c will be gets cancelled minus b c cube plus b c cube will be gets cancelled so your b square into 0 is of 0 plus each and every term is gets cancelled so 0 that is equals to 0 plus 0 is of 0 so in this manner we got f of b is equals to 0 so since the remainder is of 0 so here therefore a minus b will be the factor so therefore a minus b is the factor of cyclic expression that is f of x that is f of a since it is cyclic since the given expression is a cyclic one so it has two more factors say one as b minus c and as well as the c minus a 